got a quick mail call here to share. Uh, it's just a couple books. Um, the first one is a fantasy masterpieces, um, the Silver Surfer number three, uh, reprinting the first appearance of Mephisto. And these um, older uh, Bronze Age reprints are starting to pick up a lot of value, uh, especially especially if they reprint key issues. Now, books like these, up until pretty recently, were really cheap to come by. Um, even in mint condition, you could get them super cheap. Uh, but since these um, key comics are starting to get out of people's price range, uh, they're, they're starting to turn to these reprints. And that's why uh, the reprints are starting to pick up in value because of supply and demand, you know. Uh, I think the fantasy masterpiece is one with a Thor and a Silver Surfer on the front cover. I think that might be the most expensive one. Uh, but, I mean, this is nice for me to have. I got it really cheap. I only paid four bucks for it. Because uh, I doubt that I'll ever have the Silver Surfer number three. Um, uh, so it's nice to pick this up. Now, the guy that was having these auctions... Um, he had a bunch more auctions going on too that I was looking to bid on. I was able to pick this up. Uncanny uh, X-Men and the New Teen Titans. I've been looking to get this for quite a while. Um, and every one of them I've been looking at have been like 10 20 even up to $30. Which I thought was kind of ridiculous. I picked up this one for $4 as well. Both of these books I got for $10 shipped. Uh, but the guy had a bunch more auctions I wanted to bid on. Um, some like 30 or 40 more um, auctions. And they all ended at the exact same time. I went to bid on this book to make sure that I won it. And then once I won it, I went to go bid on another one. Which was next in line that I noticed every single auction that he had ended. And I was like, oh my gosh. Because there was a lot of really good books and it was... I mean, pretty cheap. Um, so I was willing to buy a bunch more stuff, but it all went. Um, I don't know how he listed them like that, where he listed them all at once. I've never seen that happen before, so I have no clue. Um, but I just uh, I recently sold my uh, extra copy of Defenders number 17, my low-grade copy of it. I sold it for the price I wanted to get out of it of $15. Um, so I'm looking to get that Defenders number 18 to finish that Wrecking Crew first appearance. There's a couple of them on there in my price range that I've been looking at. And then there's one that's on auction right now that ends in a few days that I'm going to keep an eye on as well. So it'll be nice to pick that up uh, to finish that little uh, Defenders 17 and 18. Have that first uh, full appearance of Wrecking Crew. I had the first appearance of the Wrecker as well in that Thor issue. Uh, so it would be nice to have those and taken care of. I think Serpent Society or Serpent Squad is the next ones I'll go after. I have about half of their appearances already. Uh, Freedom Force, I have all their appearances but Mystique and that Mystique, uh, I think it's Miss Marvel number 18 or 24 or something like that. That book's super expensive right now. So I don't know if I'll ever I'll ever be able to pick it up. I'm also looking for the first appearance of Deathbird. It's also in Miss Marvel. So yeah, I just figured I'd share these couple of books with you guys. And uh, just make a small video. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck hunting for those collectibles. And until next time.